agenda is the county manager report. Thank you. Um, Happy New Year. <laughs> we, we didn't have a, have a first meeting. Um, there's been a lot going on already this year. Um, a little holdover from last year, if you remember at the very end of the year, staff as well as our financial consultant Harrison Tillman were working extremely hard with Henderson Godby to get our audit in on time. Um, so I'm happy to report that we were able to do so. Um, there had been some years through COVID when audits were extended and, and it just kind of starts to confuse everything into the new year um, and it wasn't an, an easy task. Um, tonight we have here Ms. Black and then Rachel Bowen on her team who is extremely instrumental in that process. And what everyone may not know is that HR has a lot of accountability and there's a lot of information that they have to prepare um, for all of our benefits and some other things to get in at the end of the audit whenever they're already closing out the calendar year. So it is a tremendous um, endeavor to get that audit in on time. We were able to do that. Um, and Stephanie is in the process of scheduling Henderson Gobby to come in um, to a February meeting to officially present the audit to you. Um, everything that we know so far from that, um, all, f all findings were favorable and we look forward to, to transmitting that to you. Um, also, the environmental that um, Mr. McLeod was working on on the property on Stewart Circle for the fire department. If you all remember, you approved that purchase contingent on there not being any issues with the environmental. And we are happy to report that there are no issues with the environmental. So um, Mr. McLeod has one more project on his plate. It's time to build a fire station. Congratulations, Chief Green. Uh, the Bird Supper is next Wednesday. Um, thank you for everyone's support in helping sell tickets and get ready for that. We're going to have a tremendous turnout. Um, again, there are two people in this room that make that event happen, and that is Miss Lovern um, and Miss Barwick, and we appreciate all of their hard work. This is the first time in 20 years that I've not been directly involved with the planning of that event, and I have zero stress. These ladies have knocked it out of the park for the past few months, and it's, it's something that we're excited to take you to next week. Um, the construction on the fire station for the EMS remodel and the fire addition is uh, still on schedule and Chief Green, Chief Green's recruit class is also on schedule so we should have new firefighters to put in that station about the time Chad's ready to schedule a ribbon cutting. Um, Mr. David Bauck, our EMS chief, retired today, and so um, Danny uh, Weeks and um, his operations supervisor, along with Ashley Ty and Megan and myself, went over to the hospital for a very quick and prompt to retirement um, uh, ceremony that they planned for him, and he has assured us that he will be around, so you all will have an opportunity to see him. Um, he's actually going to be at the bird supper, so we can talk to him there as well. And then the last item that I have this evening is, Mr. McLeod, I believe you have an update on the bridge on Jumping Gully Road. Thank you. So yesterday afternoon, uh, public work staff actually found an issue with the bridge on Jumping Gully Road. It was discovered that some vehicle of some type struck the barrier wall, and one of the <coughs> slabs actually uh, shifted off one of the end caps. Uh, Public Works, of course, swiftly closed the road, uh, and then we, uh, the engineering department, called the DOT in to inspect the bridge this morning, and they agreed that it's unsafe to leave it closed until we can have the repairs done. Uh, we're in touch with uh, Southern Concrete, uh, who is the only bridge contractor in the area out of Albany. They will be in town either tomorrow or Thursday to see what has to be done to make the repairs. Just curious, is there an incident report on that bridge? By the no, We're sure. looking. We've, we've asked 911 to go back and dig through their system, and to this second they haven't found anything, but they're still looking. But that had to be a pretty significant impact yes, to sir. move that. Wow. 